from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go. This is Valley News Live 10 at 10. The National Rifle Association says it supports additional regulations on the device the Las Vegas shooter used to convert his semi-automatic weapons to fire automatic. The NRA is calling for the review of bump fire stocks, devices that allow semi-automatic rifles to fire off rounds quicker. Valley News Team's Molly Casey talked with local NRA members about the group's support of the restrictions and what they would mean for safety. I told my wife right away that it's not fully automatic weapons. Dwayne Spooner has been repairing and building custom rifles for over three decades and knows gun accessories well, like the bump fire stocks used in the Las Vegas mass shooting. Accessories the NRA is now calling on to be reviewed for legality. My thought is, is that they're wanting ATF to come out and say yes, they are a legal gun accessory. His son Joshua agrees. They simply asked, re-review them, do your job as the BATFE, find out do you classify these as legal, which you did. Others disagree. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle came together to announce a bill to ban the devices. Fully automatic weapons have been banned for a long time. Apparently this allows you to take a semi-automatic, turn it into fully automatic, so clearly that's something we need to look into. Even if tighter restrictions are approved, there's no guarantee the devices will stay off the market. Both men we talked to said people will find a way around it. It's like a speed limit. It's only there if you abide by the law. Lawbreakers do not care about what the laws are. They only care about what their end goal is. However, the Spooners say it's not about the firearms or the accessories. It's about the people that use them and their bad intentions. Actually, uses it does nothing to make a firearm more dangerous than anything else. It, it's still just a firearm. From Fargo, Molly Casey, Valley News Live. Reports show that the NRA is still pushing for government officials to pass the SHARE Act, which will revise a variety of existing programs to expand access to and opportunities for hunting, fishing, and recreational shooting. 